the course is about um, students designing their own payload packages that measure something that changes with altitude. So the balloons we're going to launch in about 25 or 30 minutes will go up to about uh, 30 kilometers, or it's more than 100,000 feet. So it'll go through the stratosphere um, and, and the troposphere. And the students actually designed the whole system. So in this case, we have a student-built system that is using something called APERS, which is um, related to using the ham radio towers to do location with GPS. And we have another package that is doing a light sensor. And both of those will be transmitted down through radio frequencies. In one case, for APERS, 144 megahertz, and for the other student package, 433 megahertz. But the overall goal of the class is for students to get the whole experience of conceptualizing a design for a payload package, um, designing that, uh, testing it, making a breadboard version, um, and then actually doing a PCB board. So all the, the packages we're flying are actually printed circuit boards and have been temperature tested um, already down to minus 40C and up to plus 65C, which is kind of like the environment they're going to be going through. And um, kind of this is the end point of the class, is actually do the, the, real, the real life test um, with their payload packages and see if they get uh, data that makes sense. Yeah, uh, this is the APERS tracking system. It has a store-bought antenna. It's all in here, enclosed. There's a GPS antenna here. We actually put the camera up to it, so we'll take a video of the flight as it goes up and hopefully recover it. But uh, APERS is the tracking system using the automatic packet reporting system. And it's just a bunch of um, towers, basically like cell phone towers, that pick up your signal and automatically put it on the internet. And you just send out your GPS coordinates and that kind of stuff, and it tells you where you are. Uh, this little cricket sat, which is a uh, fairly simple uh, pick, 15F72, uh, with a photoresistor and a, a thermistor on it with this 433 megahertz uh, antenna. It's going to be transmitting back to the base station whatever the uh, ambient light level is horizontally. Here we have um, a device that actually takes the signal from the satellite, amplifies it, and then does the sort of uh, translation into the audio, audio range, which is then picked up on the computer. The computer does a for, fast time Fourier transform, which basically takes apart all of the, uh, the different spectrums, the different uh, frequencies in the signal it receives, and displays them in the spectrogram over time. And so basically Keysop puts a signal in uh, over the RF in an audio range and modulates it, which then is picked up on the antenna, goes through here, amplified because it's going to be pretty weak due to the you know, inverse square law. This gets picked up here. This multiplies it again to strip off the RF carrier so it's back in the audio range, goes into the computer. Computer does the translation using the audio card from an analog signal into the digital, which it then can use MATLAB to translate that into an actual display of the frequencies of the signal, which then correspond to the changes in the uh, signals he's, he's modulating based on the uh, infrared sensor or uh, just light sensor there. Yep. So we have our, our own APERS package here, like here, with a camera. The camera so is just saving on board. Is that, 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 that a waterproof frame? Yeah. 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 Actually, I'm just think ahead. <laughs> I'll go and then that's a, a, a freshman payload, which is uh, kind of a, a micro cooler version of the other one has an Arduino. It's uh, actually a pick. Okay. So we're about half an hour before launch. Um, we have the antenna set up, the ground station here. Payloads are all getting set up. Mine's taped up. He's about to get ready. He just has to tape it up. Everything seems to be working. Um, should launch pretty soon. Just getting ready. You can go ahead and inflate. Okay. It seems right. to me you're within 10 minutes or more, so go Wait, way in the middle. Yeah, let me know if you want more pressure in here. You can go, you can go higher, yeah. Well, by all tests, it's like. Correct. Yeah, okay. So, um, you want to go that way, yeah. You don't want to run into the antennas, though. So. Five, four, four three, three, two, one. Yeah. 
Three, two, one, go! Let it take it! Whoa! <laughs> How'd you drill into it? So like hot glue and then like melt it? So put it in the dash or that Well actually if it goes higher, because uh, I think it's traveling backwards once it gets above the jet stream. Yeah. So that may... Yeah, actually, yeah, cancel out more. Smaller. Just go higher and go more, more backwards. Yeah. Maybe. Call sign is KG7 PAT 11. As you can see on the screen, the balloon is heading east uh, towards Odessa. We just came from uh, Moser Lake. We're heading east on uh, I 90 towards Ridgeville. Balloons out there somewhere towards um, Odessa, Washington. Let's try to find this balloon. Hopefully it's still there. <coughs> 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 that looks like it. It does look like it. Very cool. Yeah, that's super cool. That's probably why I dropped transmitting. <laughs> oh no, there it is. Well, it's only significantly bent up. <laughs> <laughs> 